Hi everyone! My name is Hana Maria Angelica D. Perez from Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Section N3B. So for today, I'm going to talk about respiratory syncytial viruses. So first, what is respiratory syncytial viruses? Respiratory syncytial virus or RSV is a common respiratory viruses. It usually causes mild, cold-like symptoms, but it can cause serious lung infections, especially in infants, older adults, and people with serious health problems. How is respiratory syncytial virus spread? RSV spread from person to person through the air by coughing or sneezing, direct contact such as kissing the face of the child who has RSV, touching an object or surface with the virus on it, then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes before washing your hands. So next, who is at risk for respiratory syncytial virus? infections. RSV can affect people of all ages, but it is very common in small children. Nearly all children become infected with RSV by the age of 2. So here is a certain people who has a higher risk of having a severe RSV infection. First, infants, older adults, especially those age 65 and older, people with chronic medical condition such as heart or lung disease, people with weak immune system. So next, what are the symptoms of respiratory syncytial virus infection? The symptoms of RSV infection usually start about 4 to 6 days after infections. They include runny nose, decreased appetite, cough, sneezing, fever, and wheezing. These symptoms usually appear in stages instead of all at once. In very young infants, the only symptoms may be irritability, decreased activity, and trouble breathing. RSV can cause more severe infections, especially in people at high risk. These infections include bronchiolitis, an inflammation of the small airways in the lung, and pneumonia, an infection of the lungs. What are the treatments of respiratory syncytial viruses? There is no specific treatment for RSV infection. Most infections go away on their own in week or two. Over-the-counter, pain relievers can help with the fever and pain. However, do not give aspirin to children and do not give cough medicine to children under 4. It is also important to get enough fluids to prevent dehydration. Some people with severe infections may need to be hospitalized there. They might be get oxygen a breathing tube or a ventilator. Can respiratory syncytial virus or RSV be prevented? There are no vaccines for RSV infection, but you may able to reduce your risk at getting or spreading an RSV infection by washing your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Avoiding touching your face, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. Avoiding close contact such as kissing, shaking hands, and sharing cups and eating utensils with others if you are sick or they are sick. Cleaning and disinfecting surfaces that you frequently touch. Covering coughs and sneezes with a tissue, then throw away the tissue and wash your hands. Staying home when sick. So, that is for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Again, I am Hannah Maria Angelica D. Perez 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Section N3B. Thank you so much, guys.